Hi there, great to see you and welcome to Work Palace. We are here uh, at our new bathing experience next to Eilstaðir. Uh, can I wait you inside? Yes. Please follow me, come with me. How was the trip in? Oh, it was beautiful. Yeah. A little foggy. Little foggy. Yeah. Tiny, tiny bit foggy, but we managed. It happens once in a while here. <laughs> okay, we are inside um, uh, the entrance of work here now. Yeah. And uh, this is a place we opened up uh, on the 29th of July last year. Okay. Um, so it's uh, less, than a year. less than a year. Wow. Uh, and it has been uh, very well received by the locals and, and obviously the people people abroad as well. So I look forward to show you a little bit around. Uh, the entrance is here if you are here for for your tickets. Yes. <laughs> and then if you follow me through here, uh, we have a little bit of um, uh, a bar area here. But sadly, which I cannot show you fully, but this is uh, made by local herbs. Yeah. And then you get hot water straight from the well in these pipes here. Yeah. Down here, and you put a cup underneath, and then you get uh, uh, just fresh water, fresh hot water yeah. in your drink. Wow. But just because of uh, the times we live in the Mall, we had to close it temporarily. Okay? Like a lot of buffets and stuff like that. But we were, we we're going to change that more automatically. Uh, and this is one of the reasons why we have this place here, because uh, in Eilstad it is yeah. the only place where there's a, hot, the hot water is a drinkable, drinkable water. It has a yeah, certification. Yeah, that's not the first thing I would think about with hot water at no. all. It's true, yeah. Yeah, that's because it has been obviously possibly falling down on the glaciers, yeah. coming through the rocks and the sand and everything, move through the land and been filtered, naturally filtered. And then it came up um, on the bottom of this lake. Okay. Yeah, so outside here, uh, what we can see are the, the uh, two hot, hot, oh, sorry, two floating pools with hot water, and these are the only floating pools in Iceland, which then connect to the bigger bathing area just here behind the wall. Um, the reason why we are here is because this is one of the few areas in East Iceland where there is actually hot water. Yeah. East Iceland is, uh, has been uh, said to be uh, the cold part of Iceland. Mm -hmm. And in the past, people thought there was no hot water here. Uh, but this lake, which we see here, uh, in the winter, there were part of it which never froze, um, and you could see uh, holes in it. Mm, and, the, and that's work, which means holes in the ice. Yeah. And there were all sorts of stories in the old days about it was a monster underneath there, breathing a hot air and melting the ice. Uh, there were also tales of uh, some sort of uh, creatures uh, which would uh, catch people and actually get them into the holes and drown them. Mm. Uh, and then there were also in the old days people who uh, did wash their laundry in these holes mm -hmm. because this was the only way where, where you actually could do that in the winter. Mm. Uh, so up uh, around 1960, 1964, uh, obviously when people probably knew that it was not a monster but more likely some hot spring, they start looking for hot water and a little bit later, maybe 10 years later, they started to drill mm. and in about 78 they found hot water. Yeah. And that hot water now is used to uh, heat up the whole town of Eilstaðir and the local uh, towns in the, in the countryside. That must have saved you a lot of money. It does, obviously, heating water, that, uh, heating a house that way compared to electricity is much cheaper. Yeah. And uh, that's one of the reasons why Eilstaðir has, I think, built up that quickly as it did. Um, and this is the, also the reason why we could actually build this um, bathing area here. Mm. And what is a little bit special about this hot water is this is the only certificate drinking water in Iceland, hot drinking water. Yeah. So you can basically make your instant tea or coffee or soup from the water from the tap and do that. So we say you're, you're, you're bathing and drinking in the cleanest hot water in Iceland. And you were saying that locals, are, they, they use this place for their going weekly or a couple of times a week. Absolutely. This is a place, obviously, in, in the countryside, uh, life is more than work. Yeah. Uh, everybody wants to enjoy life and, and do something fun. And this is one of those places which people actually after work, after a difficult week or whatever, they can come and relax and enjoy. So, uh, yeah, this place is uh, something that uh, we are very happy about and enjoy. Yeah, and you can be proud of it because you're the one that uh, got this idea. Yeah, Do partly. There was, yeah. This, uh, there was this old chap here who, who was working for the, the, the heating company who had this idea of a, a simple place. Yeah. And we wanted to make be 
make it a little bit bigger, make, create some jobs and uh, create a, a spot where we'd actually possibly drag people into the area. And we were three local with starting uh, working on this in 2013 and we managed to open it up with very good people in 2019.